Okay, I haven't been making Tapius videos for a little bit because I've been busy with um, some other videos here, as you probably noticed. So let me just um, see where we left off. Um, 4.1, 14 to 15, so 16 and 4.1, okay. 16 and 4.1. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, sixteen. Okay. Let's copy these over. Um, the way for the following exercise drawn, they would die on that solve related problems. Okay. Let's grab a couple of them. Well, let's grab um three of them. Uh, four of them. Okay. Right. What is going on? Sixteen. The side of a cube increases at a rate of a half a meter per second. Find the rate at which the volume of the cube increases. Okay. So, the volume is x cubed. And the side of the cube, that's dx dt, that increases at a half a meter per second. So we are looking for, find the rate at which the volume of the cube increases. So that's dv dt. That will be dv dx dx dt, which will be the derivative of d. That's 3x squared times a half. But this needs to be when x is 4. So when this is 4. Yeah, so that's 4 squared, which is 16, divided by 2, which is 8, times 3, which is 24 meters cubed, dv dt, per second. Okay, 17. The volume of a cube decreases at the rate. Okay, so dv dt. The volume of a cube decreases at that rate, so dv dt is minus 10 meters cubed per second. Find the rate at which the side of the cube changes. Okay, so they want dx dt, which will be dx dv um, times dv dt. Well, dv dt is minus 10. And dx dv is just 1 over dv dx, so 1 over that derivative. But they want this when x is uh, 2. So here when x is 2. So that's minus 10 over 3 times 2 squared. So that's minus 5 over 6 meters per second. Okay. And I can check that answer actually. 18, the radius of a circle increased at the rate of 2 meters per second. So the or the t equals 2 meters per second. Find the rate at which the area of the circle increases. So they want dA dt. So that would be dA d or d or dt. And remember, a is pi or squared. So dA d or is 2 pi or, and the or dt is 2. And we want this when the radius is 5. So when this is 5. So that would equal um, 2 for 20 pi. Okay. And the unit is a uh, meter squared per second, 19. The radius of the sphere, the r dt, is decreases minus 3 meters per second. Find the rate at which the surface area decreases. So uh, the area is 4 pi r squared. So dA the or, uh, dA dt is dA the or, the or dt, which will be minus 3. And then dA the or is um, 12 pi r squared. Check I'm still recording. Yeah. And uh, this one here is at 10. So that's at 10. So that's 10 squared, 
which is 100 times 12, which is 1,200, times 3, so that's 3,600, minus 3,600 pi meters squared per second. Now, let's check some of the answers. Page two. Okay. Um, four here. Um, okay. Okay, let's see what we've got. 16. No, I don't have 16. 17 is correct. 18 and I have 19. 19 is incorrect. How sad. How tragic. Must have misread something here. The radius of a sphere decreased at a rate of 3 meters per second. So that's right, the order T. The area. It's 4 pi r squared. Oh, Stephen. You made a dog's dinner of differentiating that. Got myself a bit muddled up. 8. Really annoyed now. 8 pi r. Why on earth did I do that? Disgraceful. 8 times 10 times 3. It was not even 3 either. What was I thinking? Oh no, that tree is fine. That tree is um, is that guy there. So the derivative here is 8 pi r. Okay, so that's 3 times 8 times 10. So that's two, 240. Yeah. Let's double check these. The RDT is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 pi r. Yeah. And then here, um, 3x squared times a half. Yeah, okay. Man, I was just careless, careless, careless. Really annoyed by that. Oh, well. A bit rusty now. Need to get back into the swing of things. Okay. 20 to 23 now. Right, 20 now, the radius of the sphere increase, the radius of the sphere increase at the rate of 1, so the R D T equals 1 meter per second, find the rate at which the volume increases, so that's dv dt, that would be dv dr, the R D T, but the R T T is 1, so it doesn't really matter, so, um, the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So that would be 4 pi r squared, but at 20. So 20 squared times 4. So 1600 pi meters cubed per second. 21. The radius of the sphere is increasing at the rate of 9 centimeters per second. Find the radius of the sphere when, oh, no, it's a bit different. Find the radius of the sphere when the volume and the radius of the sphere are increased at the same rate. Interesting. So the sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And we want to find the radius of the sphere when the volume and the radius of the sphere are increased at the same rate. So when dv dt equals dr dt. Okay. Well, now, I'm assuming that this dr dt is a constant 9. So basically, it's asking when will dv dt be 9. Um, so to get dv dt, we need to get dv dr dr dt. Hmm. <laughs> The R D T. Yeah, is it basically looking for because that's the V D T. Oh sorry, I meant to say here, um 
Yeah, no, that is it. DV, so, okay, let me just go back up a step here. I'm wondering if it should be one. They want to know when will the radius, uh, find the radius sphere when the volume and the radius are increasing at the same rate. So when will that equal D or DT? So that means when will DV, D or, D or, DT equal D or, DT? So is the, is the nine really important here? Um, because the dr dt is cancelled, so it's when will db dr equal one, and db dr would be four pi r squared. When will that equal one? So that's when the radius is equal to one over four pi root. So uh, that's one over two root pi meters hmm definitely want to check the answer for that one 23 a triangle has two constant sides of length three and five feet the angle between these two sides increasing at a rate of 0.1 radians per second find the rate at which the area of the triangle is increasing okay so we have we have a triangle and the triangle has two constant sides of three and five, and there's an angle here, theta. And the angle between these two sides is increasing at that rate. So d theta dt equals 0 0.1 radians per second. Find the rate at which the area of the triangle is changing, and they give us the angle. So the area is a half times three times five times sine theta. So dA dt would be dA d theta d theta dt. So that would be 15 over 2 cos theta times 1 over 0 0.1, 1 over 10. But they want this at pi over 6. So if I sum in pi over 6, So, well, okay, so that's 15 over 20 cos pi over 6. So that's 3 root 3 over 8 um, feet squared per second. Okay, let's check some answers now. And just so I don't forget the page I'm on. Um, this is on page 359. Okay, 359. Right, so 4.1 again. Okay, now let's see. I don't have 20, so we're left 21. So 21 is correct. Okay, don't have 22, but we have 23. 3 root Ah, now that's a, that has to be a typo, it should be feet squared. 3 root 3 over 8. So that gives me, oh, oh wait, that's weird, I, I skipped over 22. How weird. Okay, let me just do 22 here. Oh, there's no answer at the back. 22. The base of a triangle is shrinking at the rate of one centimeter per minute and the height of the triangle is increasing at that rate. Find the rate at which the area changes. Okay. So the base dv dt is minus one centimeters per minute and the height dh dt is five centimeters per minute. Find the rate at which the area of the triangle changes from the height and the base is that. Okay. And remember, our area is a half the base by the height. So dA dt. I think this could just be a product rule. So it's a half. And then the derivative of the base with respect to time. So that's minus 1 times the height. So minus h. Plus the base times the derivative of the height 
height, which is five. So we, we put in the point, it will be five times the base, so five times 10 is 50, minus the height, which is 22, which is 28, and then divided by two, which is 14. 14 um, centimeters squared per minute, using the uh, product rule. Okay, yeah, maybe that's a good place to stop. And um, I can make a note if nobody's raised that ticket, I can point that out. Uh, so this is, uh, which one is this now? 23, 23, this one here. Find the rate at which the area, yeah, okay. And let's just see where we would pick it up from next time. I've done the, the bottom of the page. It's quite a lot here. I'll be picking it up from 24 next time. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully there weren't any more silly mistakes in that solution.